Thank you for returning to our channel. I hope that everyone is having an incredible day thus far. We have a ton of important updates to talk about today, especially with reference to the much-awaited 2024 stimulus checks, rebate checks, and child tax credit payments. We'll be digging into the details, figuring out which states will implement these financial lifelines, examining the requirements for qualifying, and taking a closer look at the well-known monthly child tax credit payments that caught our interest in 2021. But before we go out on this educational adventure, I would be incredibly appreciative if you could support our community by giving this video a thumbs up. The delicate dance of the YouTube algorithm is greatly aided by your assistance. In the unlikely event that you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, this could be the ideal time. Let's now delve further into the details of the story. Do you remember those $250, $300 monthly child tax credit payments that the federal government so kindly provided in 2021? The good news is that there is a good chance they will make a comeback. Though talks to reinstate them with possible modifications to the payment system are in progress, they expire at the end of the year. Re-examining eligibility requirements and taking into account a revised payment schedule are part of the proposed reinstatement, which is expected to cost roughly $50 billion over the course of two years. Democrats are quite keen to bring back a child tax credit in order to fight kid poverty and achieve a significant legislative win, according to Axios. On the other hand, Republicans are aiming to demonstrate their support for the business community by reintroducing the complete deductibility of research and development investments. Democrats emphasize that the proposed child tax credit must have a significant impact on the lives of working-class families, even though it may not reach the historical highs of $3,600 per kid. Though it doesn't appear likely that a tax bill will be passed this year, negotiations are still ongoing, and January 2024 may bring some exciting changes. Moving on to more advancements for the following year, 2024 promises financial support in the form of rebate checks, child tax credit benefits, and stimulus payments in a cascade of states. Now let's investigate these state-specific efforts in more detail. 1. Arizona. The state's 2024 fiscal budget includes the Arizona Families Tax Rebate Program, which is expected to help about 743,000 citizens. This program, which has a cap of $750, offers $250 for each dependent under the age of 17 and $100 for each dependent above the age of 17. 2. California. Relief is available in the form of a one-time child tax credit in the Golden State, which can be as much as $3,600 for each eligible child. Additionally, qualifying families with children under the age of six can receive a small child tax credit worth up to $1,083 every tax return. 3. Colorado. Tabor refunds are anticipated to be $847 for single filers and $1,694 for combined filers in Colorado. Interestingly, the distribution of these payments will be fair because they will be uniform for all income levels. 4. Maryland. The child tax credit, which offers a financial boost of up to $500 per kid under the age of 6 or those with a disability, is being extended by the state of Maryland until 2024. 5. New Mexico. Residents of the Land of Enchantment can file their tax returns and get a chance to get a $1,000 rebate check by filing by May 2024. Heads of households, surviving spouses, and married couples filing jointly are all eligible for this. Single filers and married couples filing separately may receive up to $500. While we all eagerly await these state-level financial infusions, it is imperative to recognize that the possibility of a federal stimulus check that covers the entire country depends on a multitude of variables. The trajectory of such projects is significantly shaped by political concerns, economic situations, and bipartisan support, especially in light of the upcoming 2024 election. To sum up, the situation is unquestionably dynamic, and we will be closely observing any new developments.